Hey friends, I'm Matt Fouch. Thank you for watching this video. If you're on YouTube, please click the subscribe button. And if you're watching on Facebook, I sure would appreciate it if you would like my page. Now, this series of interviews is called Try Not to Laugh. Now, I don't say a whole lot in these videos. I let the artist tell you the story of what happened on the road. Sometimes some of the funniest things happen when we're at concerts or we're behind stage, just different things are going on. And I want to bring to life some of those stories that maybe have never been told before. So sit back, relax, and try not to laugh at this hilarious story that happened at one of the concerts with your favorite gospel music artist. The ultimate hang, in my opinion. Oh, is the most- The scary. moment, the moment that I am that I think is the funniest moment I've ever been a part of on stage. The ultimate hang was also a Jubilee Christmas moment. Your very last concert. How could I forget? Chattanooga. Chattanooga, Tennessee. And we were having a wonderful night. The place was packed out. The singing was awesome. We were all giving you just a great farewell. And there was a moment in the concert where we did an acapella song and the ultimate hang I've ever been a part of. And I don't know who came up with the idea. Now, everyone did know about that. But this first one, I don't think. Wasn't my idea. Knew about it. But this one, everyone knew about. Uh, so I want to sit back and let you all tell this one as well. Because this I one. Bet, I bet. I don't know, Chris, but I bet Scott Fowler was 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 the instigator of this this one. I don't know. But. <laughs> They were, they were working on it. Was it 16 or 17 dates, Christmas dates we did? And I didn't realize that they started from the first day working on this. Every time I wasn't at a, you know, at lunch or somewhere, they were telling people how they were going to hang me. And they were just, they were setting me up. It was my last tour. My mind was, you know, in, in the last night of the tour, you know, you're tired and you're, you're thinking about, you know, uh, getting home and all the stuff you got to do and all the, all the plans I had. And so you're kind of on autopilot you're kind of not, you know, you're, you're not paying attention like you should be. And uh, they had spent the whole tour just setting me, you know, getting ready to set me up. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, when they, when they got me, they got me good. They hung me great. And uh, as, as people, a lot of people saw it, so they probably know what happened. They, they got, you got 11 guys up there and we're all just singing full blown, you know, and we're not, you know, it's not, a, it's kind of a thing where you're blending with other singers. So it's not a, it's not a tone that you would sing you know, solo. But it's an we acapella the, song. It's an acapella song, yeah. And, and I'm and I'm in this tone. It's kind of a baritone thing I'm doing to match these other guys. And it's it's not a pretty tone by itself. So we we get to the end of the song, and I'm on autopilot. I'm just singing. I'm not really thinking at that moment. We get to the end of the song, and it's like, oh! And I went. Yes. And everybody <laughs> hung me. Everybody yeah, stopped like singing. The whole gang is singing together. Hark, hell of ill, sing, say, about us, ding, dong, ding, dong. And then at the very end, it's um, Christmas is here. Is here. It is, is here. here. You know, and right when we get to here, it's like, is. And he went, here. It's just me. I'm like, here. Yeah. And I looked around and I thought, <laughs> right in my head. So, is here. <laughs> the only thing I, I knew in that moment, they had got me again. So I went, here. I went, <laughs> what else are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, something else that happened that night. The gym. Okay. It's, it's so always me. Has this, huh? it's all, Chris, is it why is it always me? What was that? Wait, is this the coat night? No. That was something else. We That's got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Why is it always me, Chris? He's Why the biggest one. <laughs> because you still, because people can do this to you just to love them. So, <laughs> Jim, Jim, signature cologne. <clears throat> and when he walks in the room, you're like, Jim just walked in, and there's Jim. So, and and <laughs> we we have asked we had asked him so often, what what is it you wear? And he's like. He won't tell. He will not tell. I don't want anybody going and getting it. It's something I found. Blah. So somehow or another, Gerald found out what it was <laughs> and where to get it. Yeah, he so, has his ways of finding out stuff. <laughs> so he he buys a bottle of this stuff, and 
that night we all met in the green room before Jim ever got there, and we we're just putting that cologne on, man. <laughs> Everybody had Jim's signature cologne every singer, on. Every singer, every crew guy, every sound engineer, the, the lighting Robert Dixon, guy. Robert Dixon, audio guy. Everybody's wearing it. So I walk so, in, I walk in, tell him how I walk in the green room what you guys are doing. So he walks in, man, and every one of us, like one by one, we just go to him to start hugging him. Because we want him to smell our scent. And we're like, man, we're going to miss you, man. We're going to miss you. <laughs> so, it's just all this crazy. And so that, that was just a funny one, too. It's like, man, y'all, where did you get that? So Is I'm like, yeah. Everybody's I mean, all, wearing my cologne. Did you go on my bus and get my cologne? And they're all hugging me like, I mean, I know, I, I know it's my last tour, but it's like these guys, you know, the crew guys and the sound guys, and they're not affectionate guys. They're not. And they're all hugging me and kind of coming in close. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And when I figure out, everybody's wearing my cologne. So then Gerald starts, you know, dying laughing. And I know that he's, so he brings the bottle in and it's like half gone. It's like half. I mean, you guys used to half a bottle. Oh, yeah. And and it's not you know it's not it's 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 not cheap stuff you know and so I, I still, said I still smell like it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so Matt, they bring me the, the bottle and it's it's not cheap you know it's it costs a little bit and so they took like half the bottle and just sprayed it all over everybody. And Gerald says, "Here, Merry Christmas." And he gives me the rest of the bottle, and I'm trying to figure out how they found out you know. And I said, well, "That's not cheap." I said, "That's you know to to, to play that." Gerald says, "Worth every penny." <laughs> worth every penny of it so it was they they're still, they're still laughing oh, at me man it, jim the victim i mean so many great stories you know there's a coat story that we didn't even cover today there's so many jim i don't know how you're going to get over all this stuff in your life but here's what i do know is that you've made some great friendships over the years and have some great memories uh, that we all can look back on and have a great laugh at. And so, guys, thank you for sharing those, what, two or three stories we got in today. Three. Yeah, I think. that's great stuff, man. That's fun. I love, I love my friends. I, I do love my friends. And you know what? So, well, guys, tell, tell the folks watching real quick where they can connect with you all on social and, uh, and just stay up to date with you all during uh, all this crazy COVID stuff that's going around. Man, you know what? I'll go first, Chris. It's it's uh, we miss being out on the road like you do, Matt and Chris. It's crazy. I mean, it's I've never been home this much in my entire life, you know. And uh, so I can't wait to get back out on the road. But until we do, we're on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we're also on. Uh, you can catch us on our website, twenty four hours a day, uh, Jim and Melissa Brady dot com. Catch us there, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. We send out a, a weekly newsletter, uh, email kind of thing, to keep people updated with what we're doing, and uh, they can sign up for that and keep up with us, and uh, they'll probably hear some more stories just like they've heard today. That's right. We uh, Greater Vision, actually, uh, we went out last night and sang in Greer, South Carolina. And I don't know when this will air, but this was on – if it's Monday, then – or Tuesday, it was yesterday. So anyway, we just went out to Greer, South Carolina uh, and sang the camp meetings. That was fun, you know, and um, you're right, Jim, you know, when, you, when you're so used to singing and being on the platform and sharing your music and then you don't for three months, four months, uh, you get to missing it, you get to missing your friends and seeing people. And uh, so we're on a roll now. I think we have another date in 12 days. <laughs> But you can you can you can catch us on greatervisionmusic.com and all of the guys are on social media, Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> you know, Instagram, all of that. So you can keep up with us and uh what's going on uh there. So yeah, come 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 visit us. Hey Chris, where can where can folks I know you've been doing some like studio stuff for folks. Tell folks where they can get the info on that as well. Yeah, I've got a uh Instagram, the song factory. Um, is the name of my studio, The Song Factory. It's on Instagram and on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, so go give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll do demos every now and then or different or just, you know, stuff that I'm doing, little tutorials or stuff that some people find interesting, others find boring. But uh, how anyway, it's a passion of mine. I love the studio, love to record. And um, so, yeah, song, The Song Factory. Thanks for mentioning that.
Yeah, man, absolutely. Uh, guys, again, thank you for your time. God bless y'all. Can't wait to see you guys at a concert, hopefully sometime in 2020. If not, we'll see you in 2021, uh, hopefully. And uh, appreciate you guys. Love you. Again, thanks for your time. God bless you. And we love, love you guys, our friends, and hopefully we'll see y'all soon as well. Love you, man. Thanks. Been fun. See you guys. See you.